And welcome back to another exciting episode of Golden Sun. We're, uh... I'm not that sad. Wow, jeez, why couldn't I find this before? <laughs> yeah, between episodes, <clears throat> he was fighting a few enemies and having trouble finding anything more than, like, a couple bees and bats. And then as soon as the episode starts, THREE ORCS JUMP OUT OF THE BUSHES AT YOU! What do you do? Roll! You mean roll initiative? Yeah! <laughs> Did, did we bring up the thing before? Which thing? About, like, uh, there was that, um, like, Tumblr post or something. It's like, you reach out to push the orc off the, off the cliff. Ma oh. uh, and it's like, make your roll. It's like, yeah, roll I a think one. You told me about this. I don't know if you went over this on the show. Okay, it's like, it was, it was like some D&D &D joke or something. Yeah. It's like, you reach out to push the orc off the cliff. Make your roll. It's like, you roll a one. It's like... You brush the orc lightly. He is uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe the joke continued. Oh, hold on. More of Toby's soldiers lay defeated. Is this more of their work? That voice! It's Iodem! You survived! We suffered great losses. Were you fighting a group of six people? <laughs> they were the seventh. You've survived as well! There were seven? Is this the same group that was following you before? I'm certain of it. One of them must have been Sheba. That bitch! <laughs> Sheba, you say. Is this true? The scholar Creighton was protecting her. I'm sure it was Shiva. Did you hear that? What do they want with Shiva? <laughs> Shiva? They all? Once they finished with us, they headed for Baby Lighthouse. What do you hope to find at Baby Lighthouse? They spoke of ruins beneath the lighthouse. You guys sound really alike. <laughs> <laughs> ruins? Of course! The foundations of the lighthouse! I never like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just this random voice. <laughs> like, I always give him, like, really, like, I see Farron, too. Run! We must head for Baby Lighthouse as well. Are you concerned about these soldiers? We're fine. You must hurry to the lighthouse. The lighthouse. Shiva, if anything happens, just hurry! Even these soldiers insist, Ron! Come on! <laughs> this guy has like the weirdest voice problem ever. It's great. I don't know if anyone watching this is going to have any fun watching it, but I'm having fun doing it. But, yeah, I think I, when I was talking about the, the orc thing... Right. Um, I saw somebody went, like, one step further with it. Yeah. And, like, made a whole story. Sure, because I think... I, I was going to say this, too. Oh, and also <clears throat> there's a Dijon in town. Somewhere in here. Yeah. So I'll let you look for that. Um, but... Did, did I send you the post? I don't think you sent me the post. I think you just told me the story. Because the guy, uh, like, after that, the, the orc retaliated and also rolled a one. And so it's like, <laughs> the orc caresses you gently. And then it's like, and then now it's made, really weird. And then they keep rolling ones, and then, like, somebody made up, like, the whole thing. It's like, one day you wake up, your loving orc, like, <laughs> wife next to you, and you think about the time when you almost killed each other. That was way behind you, man. <laughs> and it's just like... <laughs> That's how D&D &D rolls. Sometimes... Literally. <laughs> Sometimes the ones take on a life of their own. That's how it rolls. Yep. Critical failure. You know those, uh, like, rolling one things have become a meme now? It's like, has some guy looking like, he's like... Yeah. Like, he's like, you encounter this, 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 what do you do? And then, like, it has a picture of, like, say, for example, like, a dog, like, just a picture of a little pug or something. Uh-huh. He's like, I'm going to jump out of this thing epically. And then it has a picture of a, of a 
uh, D20 with a one, and it shows like like a meme or a picture or a video of a dog like failing to get out of something. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> just Don't my enter! Totally botched it. Um. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me that much. There's been like a D or um D and D jokes for years. Like the more you play it, the more you start to recognize them too. Cause like, I mean, there's there's shirts and stuff. There's there's that the uh and jewelry. Neutral like, good, lawful good, chaotic good. Yep. Natural twenties. Yeah. It's a big term. I saw. I like putting that in shirts and stuff. I saw a roof. How do I get up to the roof? Um. I think you gotta jump from the wall, or... <laughs> when in doubt, reveal. Hmm. Oh wait, there's something there. Well, there's the vine. Oh, hold on really quick, there's something at this obelisk here. Yeah, that's here. what I was looking at. Oh, okay. Just don't put... Oh, oh. Psy crystal? Well, it's Psy crystal. Hold on, go down really quick to the bottom right. And talk to the Sheik. Um... Oh, there's a vine there. That's not helpful. There's an old man on top of that roof. Is there no ladder or stairs going up there? He's just trapped. Oh, yeah, I guess there's, there's a ladder. Maybe from there you can jump over to the side. Maybe? If you get into that ladder, try jumping from the roof to the, um... To the outside wall? Yeah. Like an immigrant? Yeah. Just jump the wall. Oh, hey. I guess I can do this maybe between episodes. Yeah. That's not... Yeah, buying and selling is not an interesting thing to watch. Yeah! You're on the wall! Hooray! You can jump onto the roof of that thing and then jump... I'm trying to. No, I mean to the right. Jump onto the roof of the church, basically, and then over to the vine area there. Oh, how brutal. Desecrate the church with my feet. <laughs> I don't know, is it technically considered desecrating to stand on top of a church? I, I assume someone has to do it once in a while to, like, you know, fix the shingles or... You know... Not great, not check anything. check the architecture. I just there we go. Climb back down. Jump back onto the wall. Well, I thought I was able to. Look, you're doing good. You just gotta keep keep looking. Yeah, see here you go. Give me that pot. <laughs> Jeez. I don't think there's anything there. That's yeah. why I wouldn't let you target it. Well, fruit cakes. Cool, free fire to Jin. How many Djinn are, are, are even left? I think like two. Let's yeah, two. See. Yeah, I know. I think the last Earth one is on uh, Crossbone Isle. What does he do? And Penetrate yeah, defense. And there's a wind one coming up in Baby Lighthouse from the looks of it. And then that last one's in the Crossbones. Huh? That's what I said, yeah. Cool, we might just get all of them. Wouldn't that be sick? Assuming I can go back to the crossbones. I'm sure you can. Was there anything else here? Um, I don't think so, unless you wanted to shop. I do want to shop. But I can, uh... Well, then we can either... Oh, that's right, to the baby lighthouse. Yeah, we can either pause the episode and let you shop, then, okay. or we can come back later. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing really I can do right now. I'm gonna go, go ahead and pause it. I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna do so, some shopping! So we'll be right back and let you know if anything interesting happens. And we're back. Uh, I'm in the baby lighthouse. Well, you're not in baby lighthouse yet. You're outside of baby lighthouse. Excuse me. Or I'll talk. I'm just sort of wondering what you're doing here. I'm moving this so I can jump across. Yeah, that, that makes sense, but... Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't realize you could double move it. That's pretty cool. That's what Carrie does. Well, I knew it would be able to, like, lift it, but... I, I guess, yeah, that's the point, isn't it? Otherwise, you just use lift. Yeah. Uh, we, only recently, we only recently got that side energy, and it's been a while since I played this game, and apparently you've played it more Do times than I Do you remember what I Luck have. does? Uh... I'm gonna give it to Misty, because I like Misty. I, I would assume it boosts your crit chance. That'd be my guess, which okay. would make it useless on her. But okay, sure. Whatever. 
<laughs> I don't know, luck is one of those weird things that they put into a lot of these RPGs and JRPGs and every game people are like, what does it even do? <laughs> bodies hit the floor. It's a lot of bodies. Oh no! We. <laughs> oh, he jumped off of it. Oh, there's monsters here. Yep. Yeah, some sort of gargoyle pterodactyl thing going up in here. Yep. Did you ever watch Gargoyles TV show? Uh, the cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember it, like, at all, but I do remember watching it. I like... Oh, hey! Yep. <laughs> Just sitting there staring at you. You gotta jump down from one of the top floors to get to him. Manticore King! You are all my subjects! Bow down and kneel to me! Oh, I didn't vote for him! <laughs> <laughs> he was elected by the, the lady in the lake when she came out and <laughs> chucked a sword at him. Well, I said I was king, just because some watery tart threw a sword at me, they put me away! It's true. It is. It's very true. And yet Trump is the president. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I mean, I was going to say, before you said that, because that sort of defeats the person I was going to say. I was going to say, I think that was sort of the point of it, is like, they were just making fun of, like, they were trying to make extremely logical conclusions off of, like, the old myths and legends and stuff like that. Like, that's ridiculous! How yeah. does that make any sense to anyone ever? Uh, they're like... Need some reform from the masses, not some farcical aquatic ceremony. <laughs> some watery top chucking swords at people. Like if I, I went around left saying left. some lady chuck threw a scimitar at me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a great scene. So good. Like it's like I, I didn't like realize yeah. how funny it was until like you got older. Yeah, you have to be old enough to understand that one. With like, like the political insights and everything. Mm-hmm. I hate politics. Me too. It's one of the reasons why we don't talk about it on the show. That I'm gonna like... voice that I don't like Trump, though. <laughs> Look, that's fair. Most <laughs> people don't like Trump. But, you know, I just don't want to get political on the show. Because, uh... Okay, can I just can I just bring something up really quick? I mean, I, I, I guess... I, I literally and physically did a facepalm in my car when I was driving because of what happened. Okay. Um, there was some, uh, like, like Jewish, like, cemetery or something, like a synagogue or something. Mm-hmm. And, um, one of the, uh, like, the, like, there were a bunch of gravestones that were basically desecrated. Okay. And, which is extremely yeah, that's, uncool. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, but, uh, like, that very day, like, Trump apparently visited the graveyard and made, like, a, an announcement. Mm -hmm. he, and he, he literally said, word for word, like, there is no room for hatred and bigotry in this country. And I just went... Yeah. <laughs> That's all he's preaching! <laughs> oh my god, make up your mind, man! Yeah. No, I always just... Like, I, there's a saying that's been going around that essentially, like... There's, there's two subjects that you can't talk about without offending someone. It's religion and politics. Ah, shit. So I prefer not talking about religion and politics on the show because I don't want to offend anyone. Um... I mean, you know, it's it's not, it's it's sort of the cool thing to say these days that Trump sucks. Like, it's a joke that everybody's in on. Yeah, but, okay, uh, that's a lot of guys. You know, I, I don't want to like, I don't want to like, you know, go on record just wailing on people because you know we're we're not a politics show. We don't know a lot about politics. We're not particularly interested in politics. I we have, don't like him. That's all, that's all I'll say. I'm not gonna go into it. But we have like, our opinions, yeah. but. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. That's the beauty of being in the yeah. United States. Yeah, you know what? That's very true. See, that was... I think that was one thing that's that's not... This isn't a political statement. This was just something that I noticed. Um, one of the people I followed on Twitter was a uh, actor, Nathan Fillion, who... Uh, I just followed him because he was the main actor in... in um, Firefly. Oh. And I was just like... You know what, sure, I'll just get some people on Twitter to follow because they're silly people and, you know, whatever. It'll just give me something to laugh at every once in a while. So occasionally he posts the silly stuff. Um, and then throughout... You should follow George Decay. Throughout the election... <laughs> throughout the election, uh... Mr. Fillion was posting 
many, you know, sort of uh, anti-Trump statements, right? Mm -hmm. um, like the majority of everybody? Yeah, pretty much. How do you get across there? Can you... Jeez. <laughs> when do you get out of here? Um, so, the thing is, though, that he was getting a lot of comments, apparently, from people saying that he was a Canadian, and thus his opinion wasn't a big deal. Uh, but, you know, he's an American citizen now, because he signed up for citizenship. The second thing was that, um... People were saying that they wished actors would stop, you know, trying to influence the election by, you know, making these statements and stuff like that. I was like, really? Isn't that, like, all what Americans do? Like, you have a right to make your opinion and state it publicly. Like... Unless you're a teacher, apparently. Yeah, well, the, the, there's a point where, like, you know, when you're a source of education and stuff like that, and you tell people, this is wrong... Right, then that sort of almost becomes like the school stance on it. Well, you know what? When it's, it's like, an opinion thing. Yeah, but the thing is, like, uh, like it's somebody you look up to and respect, right? Mm -hmm. it, isn't that what yeah, actors no. are? Like, somebody who, like, oh, you know, I, I focus on the actor. I think I just have to go down more. Oh, okay. But that doesn't we, get you the degen. No, but I have to. I can't get up to that next one. Hmm. It's got to be a way to get up there. Yeah, well, I don't think I can do it right now. Hold on. Well, uh, man, I want to finish the story. And then, well, next time, and I'll check the map to find out how to get up there. Because I do want to get that got battle. Okay, so, but basically, I just thought it was ridiculous, though. Because it's like, so at what point do you have so many followers on Twitter that you are no longer allowed to voice your opinion? Like, how does that logic make sense? We have, like, ten followers and I voice my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just mean that, like, it, it just seems ridiculous to say that, like, you're it's because they were mad because he they were picking on Trump. That's the whole thing. They disagreed. Well, I, I don't know. It's just the idea that people should not be allowed to voice their opinions because people listen to them is ridiculous. It's like, I mean, like, if if a lot of people followed me, right? <laughs> Which would be weird. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't see you as a... Yeah, no, people wouldn't follow me. The point is, though, that if they did and I just said something, it's like, why would they devalue my opinion? Just because, like, say, like, a thousand people listen to me, right? Yeah. Like, how does that make my opinion less legitimate? Should I keep going? No. Uh, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just pause for now. Next time on Operation Pixel, we'll, uh, we'll come back here. We'll probably not talk too much more about politics. Just remember to everyone, keep an open mind. Uh, try to be respectful. 